Many people take simple things like walking for granted, and in countries where it may be impossible to buy wheelchairs, there's new hope being delivered thanks to a group of volunteers. It's something 14-year-old Andrea Gomez of Las Cruces faces every day. I have um, cerebral palsy. But being confined to a wheelchair for now hasn't stopped her from living. I just go on life day by day, you know. And as she goes about her day, Andrea's reminded of how lucky she is to be able to move around. Having a wheelchair, though, it, it takes away some of that dependence from my mom, from my sister, from my brother. It gives me the freedom to do stuff on my own, to be independent like I want to be, like everybody else, to be a little bit more normal. Wheelchairs can be expensive, and in some developing countries, it can be hard to afford. You're talking about people who um, are completely dependent on somebody else, perhaps. Um, these are people who are back in a back room or their home all the time because they have no way of getting out or have to be carried by a family member. People who have to crawl on the ground. Dennis Prickett is a physical therapist and the ambassador for the Free Wheelchair Mission, a group giving people around the world a chance to be mobile. We have raised, over the last three years, we've raised over $85,000 for wheelchairs. We're approaching 100,000, that's our next mark. The group sends more than 500 wheelchairs at a time to people in need from countries in Latin America. When you think about this wheelchair being less than $60, $59.20 for a single wheelchair, that is really a drop in the bucket when we talk about in terms of a person's independence and mobility. Prickett says the free wheelchairs are also giving families a financial boost. You think about is the economic impact that the wheelchair can have. On, on the family, because now you're talking about caregivers who don't have to be with them all the time. Maybe they can get out and work a part-time job or they can you know, do what have you. That has an economic impact in, in the community. So you start thinking about uh, the, the huge impact that it has on the family, not just the individual. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.